My name is Dr John Dickinson, I'm a lecturer in the School of Sport and Exercise Sciences at the University of Kent and I've worked with Olympic athletes um, in the summer and the winter games and also professional sports as well. Um, so whilst growing up sports and activities are good for children to get involved in because they, they, they help you both, both from a mental point of view and from a physical point of view. So we know from a, a mental point of view they're going to help you in terms of building confidence, they're going to help you in terms of cohesion with, with other, with other um, children their, their age. Um, and they also, also teach you the values of kind of winning and losing and tactics and dealing with failure and, and kind of over, overcoming adversity. From a physical point of view, um, we know they help, they help kind of build, build the building blocks for kind of the, the child as an adult. So we know that if you're an active child, you're likely to have a greater bone density, so your bones are going to be stronger. If you're an active child, your, your body composition is likely to be more favourable to more muscle mass and less fat mass. My name is Fami Rashid and I'm the Employability Officer for EDA at the University of Kent. Um, I've been volunteering since I was about 17 and a, an important part of that volunteering was partaking in sports events. I hold a FA Level 1 coaching certificate in football training um, and I've been involved in sporting events with young children all the way through adults for many years. I think there are lots of benefits for team sports um, for children um, because it teaches them how to get on with other people. It also teaches them that I think um, no matter what your role is within that team, whether it's a, you play a small role or a big role, you are contributing to the overall aim, which is I suppose winning the game. So I think it gives them a sense of belonging, it gives them a sense of teamwork, um, and it also gives them a sense of I think you know striving towards the same objective as well. I think children should watch sporting events like the Commonwealth Games because it's inspiring and it motivates you know, students to continue to do sports and I think that's something we lose as adults. My name's Becky, I'm a final year student at the University of Kent in Canterbury. Along with my project partner Fran, we have designed this website as part of our final year project in line with the BBC Research and Development Department. This website showcases some of the world's top athletes who are great role models for children to look up to. The Commonwealth Games encourages children to obviously aspire to, to, be, to be an elite athlete. They can see kind of the, the, the glory of competing in front of millions of people on, on the TV. Uh, I think also because the Commonwealth Games has got a variety of different sports, it might get children interested in sports they might not have thought of before. So they might think, oh, you know, I, I do football and I do netball at school. But then they might see something interesting, in, uh, maybe squash or maybe badminton that they haven't had a, had, a, had a chance to play before and go, actually, that looks interesting. I, fan I fancy having a go at that. They lead by 16 goals. England are giving Jamaica a high. And that's it. England for bronze. England have totally outclassed Jamaica. So team sports for children are really great because if you think about a team sport, usually they, they involve a variety of different skills. So if you're looking just at, for a general motor skill development within a child, just doing, a, if, if you take for example doing something like a football or a hockey game, just think about the different types of movements that are involved in those games. There's sprinting, there's jogging. There's also a tactical component as well, so, so the, ch the children start to um, get, learn different tactics, how different tactics might affect the game. I think sporting activities are very important for children while growing up because it gives them a sense of belonging, especially when we're talking about team sports. Um, I've done volunteering for a long time and I've always found the events that involved sports really encouraged students, especially from minority groups or from sort of the urban areas where they didn't have as much access to the city centre. I found that that gave them um, a reason to participate in those kind of sports because they didn't have the same access to that. If you look at, if you look on, at the Commonwealth Games and they listen to the commentary team, the commentary team will start to tell them about what, what, about what the athlete has done to get there and that will involve the, the support team. So the person watching might not necessarily just be interested in the actual sport, they might be interested in how that athlete's got there and that means they might want to be a doctor and they might be interested about how the doctors are supporting that event. They might want to be a, a psychologist or a physiologist and how the physiologists support that event. And they'll be able to see these, these little things the athletes are doing around just the actual event that you might watch on the highlights on the news, but you'll be able to watch it in more in depth and be able to see exactly how the athletes are preparing for, the, for, the, for their sport and, and also the number of people that are actually involved in helping that athlete prepare. The reason we have created this website for children is not only to have a positive impact on the way they view technology, but to also encourage them to watch sporting activities like the Commonwealth Games.